JWST has been an incredible addition to the Space Telescope arsenal of astronomers, and the discoveries just keep pouring in. JWST has now seen the oldest supernova ever observed, sitting way back just 700 or so million years after the Big Bang. That's about 13 billion years ago, according to our best cosmological models. Supernovas are the spectacular final stages of the evolution of massive stars as they explode and spread much of the metals they contain out into the surrounding space. This supernova also gave off a powerful gamma ray burst, which may indicate not just that the star has died, but that a stellar mass black hole was formed in the process. According to Andrew Levin of Radbound University and Warwick University, only a handful of gamma ray bursts in the last 50 years have been detected during the first billion years or so of the universe. That makes this a pretty unique observation. The observations began back on March the 14th of this year, when first gamma rays and then X-rays were detected from this object, which was designated GRB250314A. Hours later, the Nordic Optical Telescope and the Very Large Telescope in Chile were able to detect the event. From all of these observations, astronomers were able to figure out that the supernova would reach peak brightness about three and a half months after these initial observations. The astronomers went to JWST and asked for director's discretionary time to observe the supernova. That's observing time that the director of the observatory has in his back pocket that he can award at very short notice to follow up on super interesting targets like the supernova. Although the web image is the sort of thing that gets astronomers excited, it might not be the most visually exciting for anyone else. So here are some artists' impression of what the gamma ray burst and the supernova might have looked like. Previously, the most distant supernova was 1.8 billion years after the Big Bang, so this new observation is a huge record breaker. If you're interested in more details, a paper was just published in Astronomy and Astrophysics. That's today's video. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed it, and I will catch you in the next one.